In today's video, we're going to discuss some stocks that are about to make a crazy move tomorrow and why you should keep them in your watch list. A lot of stocks are reported earnings today, so it's important to get you guys ready as always. We're also going to look at the overall market to see what's going to happen tomorrow. all right y'all let's dive into the charts right off the bat we got the we got the nasdaq futures and looking at this right now on the daily chart i just noticed something we're seeing something similar to what happened when we were climbing up here when we had a one two three these three candles we have another divergence where the volume is slowly decreasing in the futures charts i can see that right there right um after we have this little slow climb with small candles we had a big sell-off to go right back down to where we started and now we're seeing kind of the same thing again happening starting with these three from the seconds all the way until um today right so we have a drop in volume again as we are slowly creeping up Obviously, these candles are not as tiny as the ones that we've seen um, during these days. But the market is still sus. All right. Right now, we're uptrended. And in the last video, I shared with you all my thoughts on the Dow Jones, which um, is still bullish, especially after showing this bullish structure right there, this falling wedge. The four hour chart is still behaving as expected. The green circle is here. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to leave it exactly where it is. Because I do think that we're going to... We might even tap 390.5. Before experiencing some turbulence with the Dow Jones. It could happen in the morning even. So um, keep your eyes out for that. Now the other indices that we're going to look at in today's video is the Russell. And the Russell, um, I shared this little structure that happens. I shared this one on Sunday. It popped off. All right. And right now it's just trading really, really slow near the highs. Again, near 204, traders who got in on this day are looking to take some money off the table. The market is being extra generous to longs. All right. So first we have the initial chance to take money. And then it gaps up again, all right, and provides another chance to take money. There is a gap, a small gap at the top right here on the Russell that could get filled tomorrow if the Dow Jones continues to push higher. We only got like maybe a dollar and 50 more cents to go. So I wouldn't be surprised for us to get that taken care of quickly tomorrow or by Wednesday before we potentially see some type of pullback all right so um that's my thoughts on the russell now the stock that y'all should be keeping in your watch list that stock is showing a very very interesting structure on the daily that stock is target now target looks like this there is a descending triangle on the chart if we're actually we're actually gonna look at the four hour so this is the four hour right here. We have the breakdown that occurred, I believe last week, right there. The breakdown occurred right here. It's been falling. It fell all the way down to 156.50. And ever since then, it's still trading sideways at that specific level. The daily chart is still bearish. And as long as it doesn't get back above 160.40, the bears are still in control of the stock all right so that's one reason why i'm leaning bearish on target the other reason is because currently right now it's filling the gap on the left all right and i think it's really really close to getting it done it's it looks very similar to a previous stocks that i shared with y'all for those of y'all who have been subscribed to this channel who have been watching the videos um the gap is right there. We have room to 154. It's looking a lot like it's looking a lot like Oracle. Let me clean up this chart real quick. So clean up. There you go. So Oracle 
similar situation we have the initial gap up from earnings and then the stock shows up shows us a descending triangle on the four hour like this right here same structure we break down right here which is similar to target and then we play some games this one fully retested target ain't that strong though um it didn't go back to re to really retest that line and now it's target is around this region right here so the move that i'm anticipating for target is this drop right there all right so let's go back to target for those of you who are beginners in the market that's what i'm expecting it's the same it's the structure is exactly the same all right the structure is exactly the same um this one right there the breakdown watch it for a drop to 152 all right now let's do an update on yesterday's stock so yesterday i gave you guys a stock that is about to make a huge move and it definitely made a huge move today that stock was roadblocks all right roadblocks creeped up even higher by two percent earnings is in the way reminder holding anything through earnings is 150 percent gambling all right so uh if you are gambling good luck there is like it already broke above this um bearish trend it broke out of that bearish trend so again i wouldn't be surprised if earnings pushes the price of the stock all the way up to 46. i would not be surprised to see that now another stock that we got to look at this is an update on the stock that i've mentioned on thursday amazon i gave you guys amazon yesterday to watch it for a long it didn't really fully perform like it, it performed like it went up like it definitely went up um but it didn't go all the way up to 191. we have the structure right here and then we have the pattern within the pattern right there like um double ascending triangles one within the other we break out and then we push high right so it didn't go to 191 or 190 like i told you in that video but it's still creeping higher today it had a move the contracts were up by quite a bit i think tomorrow might actually be the day that amazon breaks or at least touches 190 before we see a pullback on that stock let's see if we made a brand new high yeah we did yeah we did no we didn't we didn't make a new high all right so we still have this level to, to clear out right there is really really close and keep in mind there are some short sellers right here who are seeing this and their stop loss is literally like one cent above uh 190. <laughs> so just a watch watch closely and see the amount of volume that will occur in that candle as soon as that level breaks all right so just just keep amazon in your watch list i think it, i think it can do it i think it can do it now um another stock a stock that reported earnings today palantir let's talk about it now palantir had this structure on there but since earnings is 150 percent gambling the reaction is not always what you would expect the structure on there was bullish this is a falling wedge and without earnings in the way this is an easy move to like 30 bucks all right but since earnings is in the way we have to play this this game this very annoying game all right and uh i believe i don't know what their revenue is i don't know what they're like how they did I'm um, see right here. Okay, so soft guidance. They probably beat earnings, but their guidance was soft. And the market didn't like it and pushed the stock down. All right, now, this is a similar situation like I shared with you guys on EXP. I want you to set your alerts right at 22.50. And patiently just wait for the bell to ring. And look for volume that is above 5 million in the first 5 minutes of market hours. If the bell rings and the candle is bright red, all right, and the volume is that high, then watch it for a fade all the way back down to like 20. The stock, I believe the stock can do it. If it happens like, I, like, like I've seen um, these situations happen before with earnings, we could see a fade 
all the way down especially with weak guidance all right so that's my honest thoughts on all of these stocks and that is the end of the video do not forget to annihilate the like button as always remember i make these videos from sunday to thursday at exactly 10 p.m eastern time all right so definitely click on that subscribe button and click on that notification bell that way you get notified whenever i release these videos if you'd like to be part of a private discord community we can get all of this information in real time as i see them you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below don't forget to follow me on social media at paul and guma and at knowledge lab on instagram and on x and lastly, to get some free stocks with Webull, you can use the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Better Knowledge Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in tomorrow night's video.